Hello there, I'm Dr. Jim. Thank you so much for stopping by for some good information. Today's topic is an important one, antipsychotic drugs in senior care. And this is really a call to clinical leadership. So psychotic, psychiatric, psychotropic medications, they are all commonly prescribed to seniors to manage symptoms and behaviors. There are well-known negative and sometimes very dangerous side effects to these medications. And elderly people are especially more vulnerable to experiencing negative side effects due to psychotropic med use. Seniors living in care communities are more likely to be prescribed psychiatric medications and many times they're administered more than one type of drug. Some experts report that over half half of seniors in skilled nursing facilities are on one or more psychiatric medications. There are some ethical dilemmas with this, right? Now, I believe we've gotten much better over the past 10 years, 15 years, really good at titrating and discontinuing meds and are they necessary? Are we prescribing um, too many meds? Is the dosage too high? Things like that I think have improved but we still have to be diligent and continue this effort. Some residents are administered daily antipsychotic drug use that exceeds the recommended levels. That's a problem. Antipsychotics are prescribed many times for residents who are cognitively impaired due to conditions like dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And while they are used to help manage behavioral and psychiatric symptoms, they do come with potentially dangerous side effects. One of the most common side effects of these types of medications is sedation, and there are numerous ethical problems with it. In this way, antipsychotics might be viewed as a chemical restraint, almost like a physical restraint. Now we're talking about the use of a drug and chemical restraints. Um, and if we're talking about chemical restraints, we're talking about control, controlling the resident, and that is not a good thing. The use of these drugs can lead to accidents, falls, impaired cognition, restlessness, constipation, cardiovascular problems, and at the end of the day, poor quality of life. Now, there is this very important concept called off-label use. Antipsychotics are used off-label when it comes to prescribing them to cognitively impaired residents with some type of dementia. Antipsychotics were approved by the FDA for use only among residents diagnosed with schizophrenia. There you have it. The use of these drugs for other conditions such as psychosis or agitation due to dementia is simply considered off label use. Importantly, the off-label use of drugs is not prohibited and may actually be necessary. We have to be realists here too. They might be necessary to treat severe behavioral disturbances and disorders for which there are no approved drugs whatsoever, and that's a sad fact. This creates quite an ethical dilemma as well prescribing off-label medications or the other extreme, don't use them at all. Prescribe, don't prescribe. We still have severe behavioral problems. We want the senior to have good quality of life. By the way, we want the other seniors living on in the same neighborhood in that community to have good quality of living too. So off-label use reflects the fact that there's not enough evidence or of the efficacy of these drugs in specific conditions based on randomized controlled trials. Why do I say that this is a call to leadership? It is because there has been a push for several years to reduce the amount of psychiatric medications prescribed to seniors in care centers and in particular to reduce or eliminate antipsychotics as much as possible. Anyone who has ever worked in skilled nursing knows, in reality, this is no easy task whatsoever. But despite this, healthcare professionals 
do their best, and I want to point that out. I know that they're doing their best out there. I've worked with probably thousands of them now over the last 30 years. They work hard to provide good quality of care, minimize or just continue antipsychotic use, and improve quality of living in general. Clinical leaders across the country keep this goal on their radar at all times, and they will continue to follow the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, goals for reducing antipsychotics in senior care. Well, I've babbled on for quite a while, but you know, my, my final thoughts are, um, we still use antipsychotics. They're being used off label and um, we have to be very, very careful about the, the resident's overall health and condition, the behaviors that they're being used for. We have to ask the hard question, are we just trying to sedate them, keep them calm, get them to sleep, control their behavior? Because if those are the goals, we might be treading some very thin ethical ice. I'm Dr. Jim. Do your due diligence on antipsychotic drug use in your care communities to help improve the quality of living for your residents. I'll see you later.